We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Michael Fulmer gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over to harder plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. The white fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. One out, nobody on. One and one. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike, then it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Three and two, full count. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, that it's better to battle a the slugger tip. like that to the end yeah, and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the stretch. Hey. It's way the 0 1 pitch. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Stepping up now, Giancarlo Stanton. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Fastball just inside. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's the 2 1 home. Swung out and missed, and it's even at 2 and 2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The set and the 1 0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Runners at the corners, two men out. Hard ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. Yankees nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jonathan Loisega gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Striding in, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the Here bottom go. half of the Here first. No Fielder, Victor Reyes. Now the pitch. Count 1-0. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps, line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Batting pitch. Striding forward the now is the DH, Harold Castro, and he's definitely off Castro. to a fast start in the early part of the season. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey, I think this is going to be the key to his success out on the mound. That good movement on that two seam fastball is going to keep that ball in the yard and keep this offense on its toes. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball two. We got two balls, one strike. To two and two now. 
Boy, he said her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. Looking for back-to-back -back Ks to start the game. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Drilled to first. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. Ball one, no sight. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Two out, nobody on. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. Judge will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. We are still scoreless. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. One oh pitches his slider one. swung on and missed one and one. Hey. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. The one two. I got to count two and two. We got full count. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out. So he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Oh, and one count and the pitch. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Has a look. Now the pitch.
Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. That's a big knock right there for his confidence. He had seen it. He, when you walk into the plate, you know you're averaging dip below 220 for the first time in a long time. Nice A-B. Stepping in now, Mike Ford. A ball and no strikes. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. Ford stands at six foot even. That's left, throws right. He's a second year big leaguer. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Torres at second. LeMahieu on at first with nobody out. And that's going to be high two and two now. Line toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the run will cross to make this a 1-0 Yankee lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give yeah. your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing and one. And there's ball one. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Runner takes the turn at second on his way to third. And the throw in gets away from him. And now they'll get him at third base. Trying to move up further, but a run is already across to score. The cover fielder. Brett. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Now a throw over to first. No, Runner that. back safely. Runner at first here, one man out. Runner. Runner's going. Now a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You got to trust your stuff. The 3 1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. 3 2 pitch. Rip down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Pitch is piling up 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting right fielder Aaron Judge. 
Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. He drew a walk his first time up. From the belt, the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. A runner on first with two away. And this is low, ball two, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Reined in. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a high strike there, 0-1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Well, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Man, I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Drilled to the left side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. A nice leadoff single to start the second right there. They're already down. they got to find a way to stay on the attack and get back in this game. We'll see how they play it here. Maybe. Here's Cameron Mabin now. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Batting pitch. The catcher. Yes. Roger. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Jake Rogers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. Got a ball, one strike. Fastball well outside. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders breaking balls and change ups but to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Grounded back up the middle and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. So he's aboard here on the two out single but overall this is one of the weaker Batting. offensive ball clubs Don't around at least in terms of Number team batting one. average and as you can see there they find themselves hovering just a few spaces above the bottom in the entire American League. Up next steps Kristen Stewart as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Tying run at the plate the 0 1. Nope. Ball one. And 
and it's one and two. Two straight. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Tigers leave one. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi? Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. He'll start it out against okay. Michael Fulmer to begin the yeah. inning. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First offering on its way. Nope. That's inside. One one home makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two real ugly 0 one swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there yeah Matt that's now the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh oh for one for him here in this one. Two balls and no strikes to count to Stanton. Stanton is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Three and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking now, that guy. He's capable of taking you deep every right. time he digs in, so Walking. it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. So striding forward now, Mike Talkman. He's set. Here it comes. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Runners on first with one down. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Three two pitch and he misses again here it's ball four and that's back to back walks here with one away 
Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Digging in for his second at-bat, Torres. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. From the stretch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Little too much bite on the slider that time taken outside. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Got a piece. It's two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself, that he's going to go in and out all day long or is he going to double up that's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now the 2 2 okay. DJ LeMay here waits on deck runners are at first and second with one away not quick enough that time and he's lucky to get another chance count remains full. And another foul ball. The next 3 2. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Throw to Cabrera for an inning ending double play. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. now for the Tigers third turn at bat and unfortunately for them and their fans this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season specifically power has been nowhere to be found they entered the day with the lowest slugging percentage and fewest home runs in the league which has led to a lot of media criticism especially locally one player told me it's obviously a huge problem that we need to figure out as a group but until we start driving the ball like we think we can we need to find other ways to score runs and support our pitching staff We'll see if they can show some signs of improvement as time goes on, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nico Goodrum is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty that's much done. what he did right there. When the you change base. the hitter's eye level Grab with it. each pitch in that at bat, Grab it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Into the box, Travis Dumerit. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1-0 home. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter. But making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Swings through it for strike number two. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Faces are empty. One man out. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base 
you got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind them. This one's down to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Jeez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Runner at first following the error. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Victor Reyes. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Late square, and this is popped up. Ford is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Harold. Digging in to try it again, Harold Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, and that misses one and one. Two out with the man at first. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And it's two balls and two strikes two now. Two strikes. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers' designated hitter. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Making him sweat out there, the seventh pitch coming up. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for Detroit. They trail things here, two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First pitch coming, here it is. The 1-0. -oh. This is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch. That's too good to pass up. The 3 1. Line towards center field. Mabin is there, and he has it for the first out. So, with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And boy, you can see it there couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Settling in now Mike Ford looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. And the pitch. Ball one. Two runs, four hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2-0.
Back up the middle and in for a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit now on the absolute perfect. screws. One's right at one guy, yeah. and then one's a single. Go That's figure. Good. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. This is line to left. Onto the bullpen roof and gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number three here in the early going. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That evens it up one and one. Now here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Maven on the run. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting the right fielder, Aaron Judge. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first digging for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. You know, D roll that's not a bad way to keep it going. A base hit right there. Hitting streak, 15 games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Staying focused, not trying to do too much, staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's working on a one for two game so far. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Four runs, seven hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. One and two to the Yankees catcher. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Oh. 
just hung in there on that one. The one two. I got to kill. Two two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. The 2-2 two -two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now a 4-0 New York lead. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. 92 splits the plate, and it's strike one. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, he's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. There's a ball low. He misses with the changeup. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Jonathan. Go. So one gone, and here's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. First offering on its way. Hey. All ones the count. Swing and a miss, oh, and he's in the count. hole 0 2 now. Hey, obviously, he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one, slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. In now, Cameron Maben, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Has a look. Now the pitch. And Maben comes up empty on that one, and it's 0 and 2 now. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off 1 and 2. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Count remains two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
Count is three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. The catcher, number 34, Jake Rogers. Now at the plate, Jake Rogers. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And that swung on and missed for strike one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heater. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. The 0-2 delivery. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1-2. and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Three. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Tigers leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. You're Kyle Funkhauser, a six foot two now, inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 36, Kyle Funkhauser. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Here's a slider that's inside 1 and 0. And it's fouled away. The 1-1 one, one home. Hey. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Here's the one and two delivery. Nope. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. The pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Final line there for the Detroit starting pitcher. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Talkman. It was a walk in his last trip. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Funkhauser hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2016 first year player draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Now batting, shortstop, Labor Torres. Into the box now, Torres. 
as he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one over one with a run scored thus far. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. No contact there, and it's one and two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 1-2 one for two in this one. This winds up inside for a ball 2 and 0 now. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. A runner on first with two away. That's in there 3 and 1. Popped him up. Rogers is under it. And that's the third out. One left for the Yankees. They lead it four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. The right field. Number 14. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Now the 2-0 home. Outside, 3-0 now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Three and one. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. To the plate now, Nico Goodrum. 
As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. One out, nobody on. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp now out there, guys. The third baseman, Trevor Demerit. At the plate now, Travis Demerit. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. And that's over 2 and 1. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey, if this pitcher's going to live in the outer half of the plate, then you're going to have to dive out there and get it. And that's exactly what he did. Hey, that's a heck of a job right there, going the other way after seeing three pitches on the outer half. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two out with the man at first. Two and zero oh to the Tigers' left fielder. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Hey after back to back two out hits right now this pitcher now thought he was going to cruise That's through this inning hit. and now he's got traffic and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate a crooked number going on the board. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here and you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Luis Sessa trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. At the plate, Harold Castro. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Two down, runners at first and second. 
bounce to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Tigers strand a pair. They're down 4 nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Now at the plate, Mike Ford. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Four. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. One and oh the count. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 and 0 now. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the 2 1. High in the air out to center field. Mabin is there. Makes the play one away. Now batting the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. Miguel Andujar will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch on its way. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hold a four to nothing lead. Bottom of the inning now. Into the box, Miguel Cabrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Jonathan. Go! Here's Jonathan Scope now. Past meetings against Luis Sessa. He's just two for nine. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Sessa, a 27 year old, he's a five year vet at the major league level. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now back, center fielder, Cameron Maben. Stepping into the box, Cameron Maben. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's 1 and 2. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail here four to nothing. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Aaron Judge. And now pitch on the way. In there and it's 0 and 1. Some action now in the Tigers bullpen as they'll get a left hander and a right hander up to throw. The plate, one ball, one strike. Too high there, and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Now here's the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now back the catcher, Gary Stanford. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting. I'm looking for something I could get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Two balls and a strike now. A runner at first with no outs here. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. The 3-1. He has swung on and missed. A full count now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The 3-2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. 
but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Delivery to him on the way. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1-0. The bouncer to the left side. To second for one. To Cabrera to complete the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. So digging in now, Mike Talkman, runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set and the pitch. Ball, back down right. Men on third with two down. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. As a look, now the pitch. Two and two. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Torres would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Mabin. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the Ladies inning. The Yanks Reed leave Jordan one, the but they're in front four to nothing. Track. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Into the box go. now, four Jake five. Rogers. One for the two. Captain. He singled and struck out in two trips. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Andujar's got it. And that's the first out. Now battle. Number 14. Into the box now. Kristen Stewart. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Oh. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1-2 and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. 
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Good draw. So now to the plate, Nico Goodrum. And that misses ball one. No hits to this point. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Hey. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Roni Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51. Roni. All set for the start of the inning. Ready now. Torres. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The windup and the 0-1. Well, that's off the plate. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Under it is Maben now as he pulls it in for the first out. Now batter. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Digging in now, DJ LeMayhew. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And that finds some outfield grass, it's a base hit. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Now Change back. up nope. middle of the plate, usually Five. gets deposited Four. in the seats. In runner, now, runner, Mike runner. Ford. Runner goes. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Maben there to put it away for out number two. Up next for the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. Now in the box, Miguel Andujar. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. from the stretch and it's fouled away a runner on first with two away fastball oh, misses inside it's even at one into the corner and slicing foul. The one two line to the right side and that's in there base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Brett Gardner. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Two men are on with two men out. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Nope. 3 and 0. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. Ready with the 3 and 0. He loses him on ball four. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but now after that. that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide no. open. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. From the belt, kicks and deals. One -oh. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Two out, bases loaded. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The three and one pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Now batter. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Tyler Lyons answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. That's the ball. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball 1 and 0. Lyons, a 32-year-old veteran, he was a ninth round pick back in the 2010 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now the 2-0 home. It was in there for strike one. Yanked on the ground down the line. 
But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Wow, they went to the pen because they liked the matchup, and what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run, so so much for that strategy. Makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. So striding in, Giancarlo Stanton. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is Maven. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam. Eighth home run on the season for him as this lead got even wider. Yeah, and you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded with a power hitter at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, so much for that. He obviously made a mistake, and the big slugger made him pay. A ball of no strikes. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. High in the air out to center field. Mabin is there. And that ends the inning. So they strike for six in the inning as there's the big blow. The grand slam home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Tigers nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Next for the Tigers, Travis Dumeritt. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. And he fouls this one off. Here it comes, 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Standing in now, Victor Reyes. No balls and a strike to count. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. This pitch is popped up. And no one will track it down. One out. Nobody on.
skied into straightaway right. Judge is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now that is the designated hitter, Harold Castro. Next up for Detroit, Harold Castro. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch coming, here it is. This oh, one's outside, open. quite a bit off the plate that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this That's one's it. too far inside, ball two. He doesn't look like the same reliever right now, but listen, this is his fourth inning of work, and there aren't very many relievers that can go four plus innings and be rock solid all the way through. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Aye. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Down in order go the Tigers. Starting to look bleak down 10 nothing. Ready for another shot now. Torres. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And it looks like a right hander's got enough to throw in the Tiger bullpen. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Ball. I got a ball, one strike. Hit to short. He's got it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring in the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Nobody out, runner on first. Popped up. Demerit has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first baseman, Mike Ford. So stepping in, Mike Ford. Two hits in four attempts to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled away. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Runners on first with one down. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. One there. Throw to Cabrera for an inning ending double play. So nothing doing here after the six run outburst the inning before. Heart of the order three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees 10 and the Tigers nothing. Ready once again, Miguel Cabrera. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Aye. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. And he popped him up. LeMahieu ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Jonathan. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Scope. Well, the reliever remains in the game here, having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing than what he's used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making some mistakes in location due to fatigue. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball one elevated one. to get the party started. One and one the count now. Now the pitch. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground toward the left. Torres scoops it up. Throw on to first will be in time, and now the Tigers are down to their final out. The center fielder, number four, Cameron Maben. Stepping into the box, Cameron Maben. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Nope. Lays That's off 1-0. and oh. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gardner's after it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Wow, throw a tent over it and bring out the clowns. <laughs> Look like a three-ring circus out there. One outfielder mistimes his jump, and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. A good thing, too. Otherwise, it could have been a triple or even an inside the parker. Riding in once again, Jake Rogers. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch coming, here it is. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees have bounced back from losing the opener to take games two and three of this series as this one is over. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. So the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Sessa claims the win out of the pen his first. Michael Fulmer was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.